at the photoelectric effect, we can look at something with which we are already fairly familiar. That would be an LED light or torch, like this one here. And you can see there the LEDs are consuming electric energy to produce their light. You're probably familiar with LEDs used in instrument panels like this one here as well. LEDs are commonly used in many applications for that reason. Well, LEDs and photodiodes are also the same construction as solar cells or PV cells. And we can see the effect that this will have. First of all, let me show you that this cell will work as an LED. You can see it there on a little battery. We can see it working as an LED. I'm going to show that this cell, this, uh, this um, uh, LED, will also work as a photovoltaic cell. I'll hook my meter here to the LED. When there's no light, we can see the reading of the meter is quite small, quite low. Now I'll put the LED under the light, and depending upon our orientation with respect to the light, we can see our voltage begin to rise. Okay. So we see that the LED is actually working in exactly the same way as a photovoltaic cell. And so we can understand a bit more of the nature of this type of device. Here we see the, the, uh, the cell receiving the photons of energy. Uh, the photons are going across the boundary we spoke about before and they uh, are able to move electrons out of their um, orbit and therefore around the external circuit, in this case make the meter read. 